Good morning, Bonham Art students. Miss Smith here. Um, it is Thursday, September the 24th. Um, for the intermediate students, I'm making this video for you, okay? There seems to be a little bit of confusion about your portfolios. So I got here early this morning and I threw mine together right quick. Haven't had time to do mine, so it was enjoyable for me because I miss doing my art too. Um, so I'm going to show you um, what it should look like up until this up until tomorrow. Okay. All right. First of all, you should have cut out your pieces in whatever crazy shape that you wanted um, for your background of your names. Okay. Then, and I cut mine out with zigzag scissors. If you look real close, they've got edges. If you have scrapbook scissors or something like that, you can use them, but you don't have to. Okay. On your white poster board that you can either pick up from the library, I've put some up there for free for you, or you can go pick up a white one wherever you purchase things, you are going to glue your pieces here, and you're going to make them overlap. So this was just one, right? Then I traced and I did a smaller one on the inside, okay? You want to outline them. See how I cut them out with the zigzag scissors? Isn't that cool? You want to outline them with a black line around the outer edges right here because it's going to help define that space and make it pop and add contrast, which was one of our vocabulary words um, this week, which meant from light to dark. You are then going to take your letters that you did in whatever three-dimensional style that you chose. I kind of did a crazy graffiti one that I just, I really kind of free drew it, made it up myself because in my puzzle pieces or not, or I tried to kind of wanted to resemble puzzle pieces, um, they're not the typical zigzag of the pop art. Um, I feel like I'm being pulled in 50 million directions right now doing remote and in-class learners, so I wanted to kind of depict that in my lettering and in what I'm doing, okay? So you're going to glue that onto the background that you should have already made. So the background, you're gonna have a picture frame that is just broken up with wavy organic lines all the way around the outer edges. Do it in pencil first, so if you need to erase. Then go back over it with a Sharpie. You need to have two on this side, two on this side, three or four on the top, three or four on the bottom. Okay, they need to be about four or five inches each. You, you don't have to measure them and get it precise. This is all supposed to be very organic in the background. In the background is where our Zen tangles are gonna go later on, okay? So when you get the background, background drawn, you've outlined it in Sharpie, then using a glue stick, glue the two pieces on that you have already previously put on and put a book on top of them and it'll flatten them out really good while they're drying. Put your construction paper pieces down first. Then if you want to cut out your name with some neat zigzag scissors, you can too, but you don't have to. And this is what it should look like by tomorrow. Okay? We're gonna be going into it. We're gonna, does it look upside down to y'all or flip flop? I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it actually says Miss Smith or if it's backwards. So um, anyway, hope that helps some of you. And um, we'll be talking soon. I'll be making some more videos, okay? Take care until then. Have a good day.